So remember with our right angle triangles with Pythagoras, we were looking at labeling our sides A, B, and C. Okay, and remember C was always our longest side, that was one of our rules, so that would be this side here, our hypotenuse, and then A and B are just our shorter side, so we could have A here and B here. Okay, but for trigonometry, things are slightly different. We're now interested in labeling our hypotenuse, which we will give the letter H, our opposite side, which we can give the letter O, and what we call our adjacent side which we're going to give the letter A, okay? And these are all decided, this is all depending on where our angle is. So where our angle is, okay? And we'll have a look at that now. So here we have our right angle triangle and we'll erase A, B and C. So we're no longer looking at Pythagoras anymore. We're now going to use trigonometry where we start to incorporate angles uh, into uh, our calculations. So let's let our angle of interest be this angle here, okay? And if it's our angle of interest, we'll give that angle uh, the, the Greek symbol theta, okay? Which is quite commonly used for angles. Now I need to choose where my hypotenuse, my opposite and my adjacent are going to go. So my hypotenuse is always the longer side. So that's always going to be the side uh, opposite my right angle here. So this side here would be my H. Now my opposite and my adjacent, they're decided depending on where my angle is. So because my angle is up here at the top, my opposite side is the side that's furthest away from that angle. So that would be this side here. And my adjacent side is the side that is next to my angle. So that's going to be this side here, which we can give the letter A. Okay, we can do a couple more examples. So let's say that we've got um, a right angle triangle uh, which looks like this, and here is our right angle here, and let's say our angle of interest is down here. Okay, so this is our theta uh, down in the corner here. Well, I want to label my hypotenuse, my opposite, and my adjacent. Okay, so my hypotenuse is always going to be opposite that right angle. It's the longest side of the triangle, so this is going to be our hypotenuse here. My opposite is the side that is opposite my angle. So my uh, side over here would be my O. And my adjacent is always the side that is next to my angle. So this would be my adjacent side here. Okay, so this is just a little introduction to the notation that we kind of use and labeling the sides before we do any calculations. If we have another one, uh, we could have one that kind of looks something like this. And here is our right angle here. And let's say that this is our angle of interest, theta, down the bottom here. Okay, well my hypotenuse, again, that's always going to be my longest side, so the side that's opposite my right angle, so that's my hypotenuse there. And then my opposite and my adjacent are decided by where my theta is. So my opposite side being the one opposite my angle of interest, my theta, so opposite would go here. Okay, and my adjacent side, the one that is next to my angle of interest, my theta, so that is going to be this angle, uh, this side here, so that would be A. So that's just a little introduction to how we label our um, sides when we're looking at trigonometry, and it's all dependent on where our angle theta is here. Okay, so that decides where our hypotenuse, our opposite, and our adjacent goes. Then uh, in future videos, we can start to look at uh, doing some calculations with these and actually solving for some of these sides.